it's Sonya Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my channel, Living the Creative Life. Today we're gonna get creative, yes, in the outdoors, on the outside of my building here in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Quick side note, when you send me happy mail, this is where it arrives to. Right there. So you guys will know that as we expanded here at Junk Monkey, we actually took over two levels of this building. Hence, that is why we have two mailboxes. This is the side entrance that we now have access to and what I use every single day. As you can see, it's pretty blah right now. Just a good old door, but she ain't nothing fancy. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that on this door before was a very, very light color. It's pretty messy. It's pretty dirty. It's pretty dented and dinged, but you know what? I believe in the power of paint, and today we're gonna give it a makeover. So down here at the bottom, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of sand off the bottom to get any of those lifting parts just to, to break them off, get rid of them. No, I'm not gonna replace this door. I am renting this space, so this girl ain't gonna pay for a new door. But you know what? My landlord's gonna be super happy when um, I take this drab to fab. You know what I'm saying? So there's the before. Like I always say, get ready because she ain't gonna be like this for long. First up, we're gonna pick her color and today I am going to go with Stormy Forest, which is a beautiful bluish gray. Love it. Number two, pick a brush. You're gonna want a full coverage brush if you're looking to cover your door completely. All the supplies I use here on my creative vlog you can find at junkmonkeypaint.com. Get yourself some rollers and a roller handle. You're gonna need a two set, one to apply your paint and the other to apply your sealer. Find yourself a tray, or like me, just use the empty Febreze tray and go to town. Don't judge me, I'm a girl who likes to repurpose, do things on a budget, keep it simple. I'm gonna need to use this empty Febreze tray, AKA paint tray, twice. So I am going to bag it. Pour your paint into your tray. I am using our chalky style paint, which sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. So no, I'm not gonna prime or sand or strip this door. I'm just going to get started. Here's a quick tip. If your door is super shiny or glossy, take the time to take a sand pad and really buff it all over to really scratch it up so your paint has extra tooth to hang onto, which aids in durability. Rock in my shoe. Got a rock in my shoe. Anybody else just choose not to choose not to wear socks. All right. So what I did was, you can see, I basically just outlined the door around the door handles, around the windows, and now we're ready. We're ready for the big guy to come to town. My big guy. We mean paint roller. These are what's called low nap, and they're also called velour. Say it with me, velour. Sounds scandalous, but they are really nice low nap. And because you see how tight this is to the very center, uh, what happens is instead of using a sponge that would release all kinds of bubbles and air out when it squeezes and it presses on the surface, this keeps it nice and flat and professional. Professional. All right, I am liking how this looks all Ready, say it with me, the power of paint, baby. I love with every single brush stroke or roller mark how just all that gross, scuffed up, white, nasty paint just went away. This is just one coat right now. We let this uh, dry and of course, because we're outside, it's gonna dry really quickly. If you ever need to thin out your Junk Monkey paint, all you have to do is add a little bit of room temperature water and then mix it up to mix it down to the consistency that maybe you love to paint with. I love doing a paint and roll because the brush allows me to just reach areas that a roller can't. And then I fill in the rest from there. Yes, you can take off your doorknobs. 
totally up to you because I know with our paint that it's water-based and it's gonna be so easy for cleanup. And if you have any little spaces like right in here in between my door knocker, it is just little tiny spaces that still show that cream, ugly white door underneath. So I'm gonna run up to my studio and grab some small paint brushes just to kind of stick in between all those parts. Ooh, I hear the bell. And my top secret weapon for getting paint off of glass or doorknobs, things like that, right here. Just grab yourself some disinfectant wipes and it just comes right off. Guys, this door is drying nicely. I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and put a third coat on it because white is so hard to cover and I just wanna do it one more coat just so I can get an all over good coverage. So I'm gonna go at this point and break out what I use to sand in between coats. I use this on furniture and doors to get, again, a professional finish, okay? So this is a different style sand pad, if you will, low grit and it's perfect for polishing, not ripping off your paint, but being a little bit more gentle with it so that way it doesn't take your paint off but it gets rid of the impurities. All we have to do is go ahead and buff it all over. So I'm gonna buff it all over and then I'm going to go ahead and put that final coat on. And these are also added to my website. So go grab one. That door is looking fabulous if you don't mind me saying. So now we're gonna go ahead and move to the part about sealing your paint. So I'm gonna use our ever-loved banana peel, which is a super tough top coat. I'm gonna go with a couple layers. Woo, feel that wind. I'm gonna go with a couple layers of this. And again, I'm going to roll it on. So off with the old and on with the new roller for our clear poly. Took the bag out and voila, I have a new clean space for my poly to be dumped into and to be, look, this fits perfect, and to be able to be rolled on my door. Just remember that our poly does dry clear, and this is a poly acrylic. So I've grabbed myself a fresh poly brush. This is actually the same brush that I use to paint with. I like to save one for my poly projects when I go ahead and put the poly coat on, and I save the other one for when I'm using it for paint. So same movements, I'm gonna trace out the windows with the brush, the edge of the door with the brush, around the handle with the door, all the places that my roller can't fit, and then after I've done the brush, I do the roll. Obviously, the more coats you do, the more protected it is. So that, that is totally your call. Guess what? We are done. We are done. There was no need to take out a door, put a new door in, spend more money other than paint and a little bit of elbow grease, right? So I actually took the wreath that I had hanging in my front door and threw it on here real quick because I wanted to get an idea of what a wreath on this door would look like. So I cannot wait to go find one um, to put on my side door, but totally different, right? Totally different. All right, let me give you a close up. for following me for another fun flip here on my vlog. You guys know I will be back again tomorrow with another project and I think it's gonna be an outdoor one too. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit the bell so you never miss another video upload. I am here daily. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Are you inspired to maybe paint a door that just needs some TLC in your house? See you guys tomorrow. Bye.